Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Late night or early morning, whenever you're checking this out, Nebraska lands another commitment in this 2024 class in four-star interior offensive lineman Preston Tamua from the state of Hawaii. He's the number one prospect from the state. And I'll just start out with this. After checking out his film, he's a guy that I think can play tackle too. You already see the frame, 6'4", 315. When you turn on the film, like this dude has tackle, athleticism, and length as well. So you're getting a guy that I don't think is pigeonholed onto the interior of this offensive line. He's a guy that can play tackle. He's a guy that can kick in and play inside. And some a team like Nebraska that just wants depth and talent on this offensive line. This is a massive, massive pickup to a 2024 class that is already really becoming something special. And Matt Rule hasn't even coached a game in Lincoln. Yet. Now, before we get into it again, just want to say shout out to the Nebraska fans. We've talked a lot of Nebraska football, ton of go big reds in the common GBR. You guys honestly just have been so awesome with all the support. So if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Going to talk Preston Tamua. Also going to talk about some other prospects that are trending to Nebraska. So thank you guys for checking the boys out. Well, again, wet late night. Doesn't matter what time of day. We are talking some Nebraska football when we get a chance to. And Preston Tamu, I, I think we can just really dig into the film first because, again, it's a good film watch. And this is a guy that he has that prototypical frame, right? Playing left tackle at the high school level, you're going to see a dude that can get off the line of scrimmage in terms of run blocking, very explosive. But the quickness... And his athleticism to play in space is also something that really pops out. Like he keeps those feet moving. I I'm no expert on the offensive line, but when I turn on the film for him, like I see a tackle. I see a guy that can play that offensive tackle role. And whether he plays offensive tackle or not, you're getting a guy that can be versatile, right? I love him in space. He's a mauler in the run game, like already built 315, 64, carries that weight extremely well. I'm a big fan of Preston Tamu, and what I'm even a bigger fan of is what this class could look like for Nebraska. So checking out where we're sitting right now, we're going to move into, I believe, the 17th once they update Preston Tamu into the class, and you're not even done yet. If you're Nebraska, it seems like Nebraska is going to take maybe 26, 27 guys in this class, and Matt Rule doing it the right way, right? He took that early winter session, dipped his feet into the transfer portal, got some guys that he needed to be successful in 2023 on the football field. But Matt Rule is not going to, he's not going to rebuild this thing through the transfer portal. He is going to rebuild this thing through acquiring talent at the high school level, getting them in the program and developing those kids. And that's the sustainable way. And so even if they don't go 10 and two this year, you're feeling really good about the young talent that Matt Rule is getting into this program. Even look back at the 2023 class, a really strong finish. Some guys like Cam Lenhart, Prince Will, like those guys are going to play early. And now you have guys like Carter Nelson, Roger Gradney, and you have the guy that I always talk about, Daniel Kalen, who I think is going to be a phenomenal quarterback for Nebraska. Now here's the fun part. Nebraska ain't done. I want to talk about two guys in the 2024 class, and then we're going to go to the 2025 class. In the 2024 class, I think the next big target is Grant Bricks. He already landed one of the top interior offensive linemen in Preston Tamua just now. And now Grant Bricks is a guy that's one of the best tackles in the class. According to 24-7 Sports Composite, the fifth offensive tackle in that 2024 class. And suddenly it's trending to Nebraska. Now Nebraska has some wood to chop, right? When you're going up against Oklahoma, he's taking visits to Alabama. This is a premier offensive tackle one of the best offensive tackles left on the board but Nebraska if they can get him into the fold and that's two top 100 recruits according to the composite for Nebraska and Carter Nelson I mean you're feeling really good about the offensive line you have one of the top interior guys in Preston Tamu you have one of the top offensive tackles in Grant Bricks both guys that could probably play all over the line of scrimmage you're feeling good about that and then just a Matt Rule guy right and we haven't really talked much about him Going back to the state of Florida, going back to the city of Miami where they go out and get Ja'Cory Barney, Amari Sanders also trending to Nebraska, and he's a really interesting cat, right? His junior year in 2022 was his first year playing high school football, and he had, check my notes here, in eight games, seven pass breakups, two interceptions. He's a former basketball guy, and does that not just scream at rule where he's going to go identify a dude that it may be off the radar a little bit because he hasn't been playing football for that long? 
but he sees the athleticism. When you step on a football field and have those kind of stats in the state of Florida, like you got a gamer there. And so Amari Sanders would be a very nice addition to that cornerback room that is becoming really, really good in terms of the cornerbacks they have in the fold. And then the last guy in the 2025 class, another top four star prospect, Christian Jones, one of the top linebackers in that 2025 class, the top kid from the state of Nebraska, also trending to the Corn Huskers. And again, this is this is not a one and done year. Like Matt Rule continuing to build for the future, and Christian Jones would would add to what's been a strong start to Nebraska in 2025. Christian Jones would add a really good start to this Nebraska 2025 class. And that's where it starts, right? Matt Rule acquiring the talent to be successful in the big time. Christian Jones would be it. Again, Preston Tamua, another four-star prospect, trending for Grant Bricks, trending for a guy in Amari Sanders who also is very exciting. It's heating up for the Cornhuskers on the recruiting trail. And the, the craziest part is Matt Rule, hasn't even coached a game. And this is one of the most winning college football coaches we've seen in America. This dude wins wherever he goes, Temple, Baylor, now Nebraska. Nebraska starts winning some football games. It's really going to get fun in Lincoln. Again, I think they crush it. I've been very vocal about them crushing it with the Matt Rule hire, and he's getting it started on that recruiting trail. Again, appreciate it. Want to keep it short. I mean, this is a crazy time to be talking some football. So whenever you guys are checking this out, Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. If you do enjoy the updates, you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.